hello hello everyone so it's been a while since i've posted on here not not that long i just took a longer break than i expected but i have more puzzles to share with you guys i wanted to share with you guys some more puzzles i picked up at five below a week or two ago and then also some puzzles i picked up at the dollar store um really random so yeah this has been the most random thing it is it is truly taking over my life I, but i will say i haven't puzzled in the last few maybe the last week or two just needed a break um i also haven't been feeling my best so i'm gonna show you guys the puzzles i picked up from five below so i picked up these 500 piece puzzles um it's fruits they're in this little bag and it was super cute and these were actually only 350 i think so i got these fruit ones and then also these little mug ones i thought these were so cute and i had to mugs if you know anything about me is that i am obsessed with mugs um i also picked up this puzzle it says happiness and it's like holographic and will probably be a pain in the butt to put together but i thought it was super cute i picked up another one of their like mindful jigsaw collection and this one's winter cocoa i just thought it was cute i like ones that have a lot of distinct colors because they're just easier to put together um, and then i got this one with like little sweaters like little christmas sweaters so i thought those were cute oh no and this one this one was just sushi and it's huge it's um a 500 piece but it's it's a big one so this one i'll probably have to do like on the ground and when i typically buy puzzles i typically buy the smallest amount i'll buy for the most part is 350 biggest is a thousand because that's what fits on my board and it's kind of what i like because i can complete them in a day or two um, so i like to finish them rather quickly so that way i'm not just you know you know so, so spice things up spice things up as we do puzzles um so they had these by i think it's crazy art you know like that knockoff crayola brand um they had a few so there was this one that was 300 pieces it was florals and bright colors which i like this one which just looked super funky but bright colors and this one which was like different seasons so i just thought that was super cute this one was a 500 piece and it's just like old cassette tapes i thought that was just different this one was 500 pieces and it's seashells and i probably should have put this one back i really don't care for that um i thought this one was cool it's 500 pieces it's graffiti egypt it says and i just thought it was like cool the way the colors were and then this one i cannot read that it's another 500 piece but i liked the colors in it so that's what i got so far and if you're wondering where i keep my puzzles i can show you because i need to put these away i keep these in my brother's room okay that's a little better so i keep so i keep my puzzles in my brother's room on my bookshelf his room is basically storage since he doesn't live here anymore so so i keep them down here i had to like empty out space from my bookshelves that is where we are keeping them right now this is like the junk area but this is where i keep all my puzzles these are mostly the ones that still need to get done um there's not many empty boxes here just make room for them where they fit Hello everyone. I figured I'd just do a quick outro to this vlog. It's kind of been all over the place. I did the haul and did some puzzling. I finally finished that one puzzle I've been puzzling for like weeks. Um, honestly just kind of put my puzzling stuff down and then never went back to it. My glasses are so dirty. Also, question for you fellow puzzlers. What do you guys do with your puzzles when you're done with them because right now i just have stacks of puzzles because i don't have the heart to pull them apart 
but I can't just have stacks of puzzles everywhere. I know some people put them up, I know some people like break them back down, put them back in their box, but that makes me a little sad, so yeah, let me know what you guys do with your puzzles. I'm working on this little Hello Kitty one. I had already done it, and then it fell apart, and I'm putting it back together because my little cousin wants it, so I'm gonna like glue it together so that way she can frame it. So yeah, let me know what you guys um, do with your puzzles, and I will see you guys in the next video because we have things going on. I have things, crafty things. So, look out for a crafty vlog. Maybe. We'll see, I'm so inconsistent here. We'll chat.